Two of our favorite blocks in ArcGIS Story Maps are Sidecar and Slideshow. Both blocks can be powerful tools for pulling readers into your story, but each one serves a different purpose. Let's take a look at scenarios where you'd add a sidecar to your story map compared to scenarios where a slideshow is the more appropriate choice. The key difference between these blocks comes down to the way they display your content. In Sidecar, the media panel stays fixed on one side of your screen with the narrative panel docked on the other side. Narrative content can scroll by indefinitely and can not only include text, but buttons, embeds, and other media too. In Slideshow, the focus is entirely on the media panel, which fills the whole background of the block. A small narrative panel floats atop it on one of nine different positions. This panel is intended for concise bits of text, ensuring it doesn't distract from the map, photo, or video behind it. How does this influence when you should use each block? It all comes down to the reader experience. If you have a map that requires a lot of supporting explanation, you're going to need Sidecar's scrolling narrative panel to fit all that text. You may also want to add in your map legend or a photo that helps put your visualized data into context. If your media is pretty self-explanatory, or maybe you've already covered the data and cartographic choices behind your map at length, you could consider featuring it in a slideshow and letting a reader take everything in on their own. Another great use of Sidecar is pointing readers to other resources about your featured media or topic. Because Sidecar's narrative panel supports buttons and embed cards, you can use these to direct people to download a dataset sign up to volunteer, learn more about an initiative, you name it. Slideshow, meanwhile, is great for giving your reader a chance to pause and let their brain process all the information they just read. Use it as a media carousel to let them enjoy some relevant eye candy or as a chance to freely explore some key areas on your map. Finally, consider the necessity of the content you're putting in each immersive block. If you're explaining something that's critical to your core message, you should probably opt for a sidecar. Your readers will have to work a bit harder to skip it. But if what you're explaining gets more into the weeds and might only be of interest to a niche segment of your audience, Slideshow gives you a nice way to include it for those who are curious without putting your larger audience at risk of scroll fatigue. One last scenario where Slideshow really shines is as an in-person presentation. Anyone who's given a presentation knows it's easier to click through your content than to scroll through it and anyone who's sat in the audience of a scroll-heavy presentation knows it can get a little nauseating. So using Slideshow when giving a talk is a clear win-win. Hopefully you're feeling more confident about when to choose Sidecar or Slideshow for your story maps. If you'd like to learn more about our newest immersive block, visit bit.ly slash smslideshow.